Today we're going to be doing intermediate. I'm going to show you traditional grip and I'm going to show you. This is Clayton Skinner. Welcome to another episode of Beyond the Beat. Hello, my name is Clayton Skinner. This is Beyond the Beat. This is going to be part two of adding 16th note snare to 6-8 rock grooves. What a great view. Now, in this video, if you caught the last video, uh, basically I explained to you what a, not, I re-explained what a compounded time signature is and explained to you how a 6-8 compounded time signature works. Uh, just to recap, a compounded time signature is a time signature that does, that does not depict how many beats are in a bar. 6-8 meaning that there are six eighth notes. There are six notes, but there are not six beats. 6-8 six contains only two beats. Uh, those two beats are signified by a bass drum pattern which will hit on one, and then the snare drum that will hit on four, four being your back beat. Now, this episode is going to contain, uh, it's going to contain similar to the exercises in uh, uh, part one, except for now I'm just going to be creating different combinations. Uh, I tried to keep it simple in the last episode, but in this episode we're going to kind of step it up a notch and we're going to start adding more uh, of these 16th note bass drum hits to the grooves. Now, uh, if you remember or if you didn't see the last video or if you don't remember, uh, we're going to be counting those six, the 6-8 six, grooves. The 16th notes are going to be represented by an and. So it'll be like basically 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and 5 and 6 and 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and 5 and 6 and. So that about does it for the recap. Uh, exercise 1. Exercise 1 we're going to be having bass drum, 16th note bass drum hits on the and of 2 and the and of 3. And again the bass drum and all these exercises is going to be a bass drum on 1 and there's going to be a snare drum on 4. So in this particular one, it's just the end of two and the end of three. So listen to the demonstration and give it a try. B2, the 16th note bass drum pattern, will be on the end of four and the end of five. Again, we're going to make sure that we have one bass drum on one and a snare drum on four. Uh, so give this give these ones a try. Listen to my demonstration and have fun. Exercise three, we're going to add the bass drum to the and of two and then the and of four. So it'll go like this. One, two, and three, four, and five, six. One, two, and three, four, and five, six. It's pretty easy. Give it a try. Beat four, beat four, we have bass drum on the end of three, and then the end of five. So listen to this. Beat 5 on the PDF is going to be the last groove of this episode. Um, I know, it's sad. Um, it's going to be every beat we've done so far in part 1 and part 2. Or putting bass drum in every spot that we've put it. But it's going to be all in one bar. <laughs> so the bass drum will be on 1, the end of 2, the end of 3, snare drum on 4, and a bass drum on the end of 4, and then the end of 5. So listen to the demonstration. Try to count this one out. Um, that might be a little bit tricky, I know, counting with ands between the numbers, but I have confidence that you can do that. It's funny how I'm telling you this on the last exercise. So 
So when you're practicing these, like I said in the last video, make sure that you use a metronome. Uh, by this point, hopefully, you're able to use a metronome with just a simple two count. And that way you're only, the metronome is only playing on the two beats that this bar actually contains. Uh, so yeah. Another thing that you want to work on is you want to work on your improvisational skills. You can take these last 11 exercises, and 11 being obviously the exercises from part one as well. You can take these exercises and learn how to bounce back and forth between them. Don't just simply play one constantly for like five minutes straight. Try actually bouncing around. Try moving around to the different exercises. Uh, your ability to improvise these is uh, it's quite important because uh, it's just fun to improvise. But yeah, anyway, take my advice and give it a try. Well, that's all for this episode. Make sure you stay tuned for part three of adding 16th note bass drums to 6-8 rock groups. Uh, if you like the video, click the like button. Subscribe to the channel. Subscribe to my other channel too if you want. Um, if you need to get a hold of me, contact me through the contact section at claytonskinner.com. Uh, or you can just leave a comment here or contact me straight through YouTube. Anyway, I don't care. Just get a hold of me if you want to. If you have any comments, complaints, you know, compliments. Anyway, yeah, take care.